What is up guys? I am the High Tech Redneck and this is the Donner 5-Way Mini EQ pedal. I am going to give you guys a nice review of this thing. So first off, let's start with the features. This thing comes in a nice little cardboard flip top lid and it has a magnetic flap there which is neat. It has a nice little foam insert in the case. It's a nice little case. It's totally functional. It's as good as any other pedal case as far as I'm concerned. Um, it comes with this dinky little one page manual, super small thing, and uh, it's essentially useless. It does tell us just a little bit uh, of useful information. We'll cover that. This pedal is a, uh, it's true bypass, and I did check it. It does seem to function like a true bypass pedal, so that's good. It has a rubber padded bottom, which some of you may love, some of you may hate. I happen to like it. It has five EQ sliders, a volume knob, and other normal hardware. It, uh, it has a working current. Let's see, the manual says a working current of eight milliamps and an input impedance of 470 kilo ohms and an output impedance of one kilo ohm. So if you find that useful, uh, that is what the manual tells you. That's about the only useful thing that the manual tells you. Sorry about the crazy focus on this thing. But yeah, as, uh, as far as those features are concerned, I give that a 10 out of 10 for features. That's all I could ask for from a mini EQ pedal, and it also serves as a clean boost with the volume knob. So uh, yeah, totally awesome. Uh, the construction and hardware, this one was put together well. It operates very well, and it has a fairly solid feel. The rubber pad on the bottom is good quality. It keeps it from slipping around just as well as the pad on a boss pedal would. Um, the power jack, the quarter inch jacks, the foot switch, all of those things are awesome. They are super solid. The EQ sliders here are plastic and they are a little bit flimsy, but they are good enough. If you are a responsible person who takes care of your gear, this should last you for years and years. If you unleash a three-year-old onto it and turn your back for a few hours, it may be broken, but you can say that about any kind of pedal, really. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, it's, it's very easy to operate, so I mean everything slides smoothly and functions well. <clears throat> These things are small and they do stay out of the way very well. I like that. The uh, only complaint I have with the construction is the volume knob. It seems, I mean it functions fine and uh, it does not detract from the usefulness of this, but it seems to be a little bit tall and uh, if you cut this thing in half, it would not be so flimsy. If you hit this thing from the side up here, it seems like it's likely to smash and snap off of there or something. It's not looking good. So I would make this knob shorter because, I mean, these knobs on these mini pedals, or nano pedals, I'm sorry, are much shorter and easier to grip. This one is very tall, and if something smashes into this, like say somebody drops an amp right here, you see like an amp would hit the top of this pedal and smash it downwards. And that would be a fairly strong uh, way to, you know, abuse this thing, and it would not... Uh, it would probably not fail that way, but if an ant were to smash into this, as you see, it would hit on the corner of this knob, not on the top, and it would press it to the side. And when something bends to the side like that, it will fail much easier than something like this that is getting crushed downward from the top. So, yeah, I think that's just a weak point, but once again, no hurt to the function, but it, it's just slightly uh, bad engineering in my opinion. It may never fail, who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion on the thing. I would make the thing about half the height of the current knob, and it would be awesome. <clears throat> Let's see here. Nothing about yeah, nothing about the construction hurts the function of the pedal in normal use at all. So I will give the construction a 7 out of 10. It could be better if they, they used metal sliders and a slightly better designed volume knob, but it's not bad, and for the price, it's totally great. It's, there's nothing wrong with it, per se. It's just <clears throat> a little bit more affordable uh, hardware than you might want. The sound of the pedal is totally versatile. It is usable all the way around. It has a fairly transparent sound. It sounds good with lots of various tones, and it works great with any type of gift any type of guitar or amp and any type of music. If you don't have one of these, it will breathe new life into your guitar tone. And not only your guitar tone, but you can use this on other things like microphones and all sorts of things. There are a million awesome uses for an EQ pedal. It's one of the most versatile pedals around. So if you do have an EQ pedal and you want another one, this one 
does function well and it is a great value so <clears throat> it pairs great with compression and other effects this pedal alone has made me excited to play all of my spare amps and guitars that I've avoided for years because they have some tonal quality that I'm not crazy about, so I just kind of sit them in the corner and don't mess with them. But with this thing, I pulled all that gear out and plugged it in with this, and it was just like, ah, angels singing in the background. It was amazing. This pedal can boost up the parts of the sound that you like in any any piece of gear and it can cut back the parts of the sound that you don't like and suddenly the stuff that sounded kind of okay but not good enough for all those years is, is amazing all of a sudden so yeah it, it can refine any kind of amp any kind of guitar that you do like even farther and make it go from being awesome and make it insanely amazing as well so keep that in mind and you know we can do the billy mays thing here but wait there's more there are yeah, th there are tons and tons of uses for this pedal. Lots of things that are not guitars can work with this EQ pedal. Uh, basically, something like this. It's, it's a $30 pedal, and this thing can breathe new life into thousands of dollars worth of music gear around your house, not just one guitar or one particular sound that you're going for. It can work all the way around. So yeah, the, uh, the sound does get just a little bit distorted at times whenever you bump the sliders all the way up. But that's to be expected from any kind of, you know, anything. Whenever you boost something a certain degree, it will distort after so long. So, uh, yeah, that just happens with any EQ pedal. Just uh, keep in mind, you know, don't throw things to the maximum unless you want some extreme variations in your sound. Um, and once again, it's the nature of an EQ pedal that you can refine the sound with an EQ pedal and you can make things sound very amazing. And if you're good with them, you can do insanely awesome things with a simple EQ. But you can also ruin a good sound with an EQ and you can mess up every part of a sound just like you can fix every part of a sound. So it's all in how you use this pedal, really. it's uh, But once again, that's the nature of EQ pedals. That has nothing to do with this one in particular. That's just what it's like to use one. So keep that in mind when you buy one. It's not magic. You do have to understand how to work the thing. So, uh, yeah, overall, the sound of this thing is great. I have I give it a 9 out of 10 because, to me, it sounds really great. I mean, it really does. I think there may be something better out there. I think the EQ that I use in Audacity and things like that is definitely a little bit better. But for a live performance, this is exactly, exactly what I need. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, let's see here. Let's talk about the function, functionality of the pedal. Everything functions perfectly with this pedal. I have exactly zero complaints. I, um, yeah, nothing has gone wrong in the time that I've spent using this, aside from the fact that I wish I had about 10 of these laying around now because I keep dragging it between different applications, using it on mics and different guitars and different amps, and every time I have to change the EQ sliders, and I, uh, I keep forgetting which settings I like for which setup. So yeah, I wish I had a bunch more of these. Um, you see, uh, the functionality is 10 out of 10 on that one. Um, overall, I can't express enough how much this can do for your tone. It is a great value. It's an amazingly useful pedal. I definitely recommend it to basically anybody who is in the market for an EQ. Overall, I give the pedal a 9 out of 10, and the only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is, like I said, the uh, plastic sliders and the knob being a little bit too tall for my liking and being a little bit vulnerable. But that does nothing to affect the pedal itself. And if you're gentle with your gear, this is perfect for you. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give you guys a demo of this. Don't go away. I will let you hear it and, you know, just basic kind of testy, testy kind of functions, and then we will... Uh, we will actually do like a little bit of a musical jam with it and see if I can show you the difference in that. So hopefully you have enjoyed this and found this useful and awesome and interesting and all that. Don't forget to share this and like it, subscribe, leave me comments and feedback, all that good stuff. I am the High Tech Redneck. Later. All right, let's start with a G chord here.
and we can do lots of other shapes here. We can do a very big scoop on the mids for the metal players, if you like that kind of sound. That. And we can do just the opposite and boost the mids if you're into that sort of thing. sort of thing if you want something like this or we can take it the opposite direction and boost the highs and cut all the bass out beyond that we've got a uh, we've got a clean boost in this thing if we zero everything out here you will see we've got not quite transparent it actually adds a little bit of tone in there whenever you turn this on but beyond that we've got a clean boost really loud clean boost if you want it and we can also reduce the volume with this guy to wherever you want it there you go Donner EQ pedal awesome little pedal here is a semi musical thing for you guys to end it off with hope you enjoyed this later